Hey guys, Sean here. Um, made it back to my place to, on uh, Thursday today um, from the Mania trip. I'm exhausted, but I want to crank this out. Have work tomorrow and then off the weekend. Yeah, I know I didn't plan that right. Um, I did get a mail day while I was gone. Uh, I put in an order on uh, check out my cards. Um, it's mostly EPAC, Upper Deck EPAC stuff, but I did pick up a few things on Check Out My Cards as well, so I thought I'd get that um, uploaded, because I don't really know what I have planned next. Um, I'll pro probably be doing a room tour at some point, just because the Mania merch, you know, you kind of already got that if you watched our vlogs. Um, didn't really pick up much outside of what I said in that, so, um, didn't really feel like, you know, unrolling the posters and stuff like that right now. Um, as for the stuff I've got signed, you saw what we got for Rusev, probably, mm, I don't know if you saw what I got for Styles, but you'll see that in the room tour, because I only, we only got three guys on the trip, didn't do access, I mean, it was our first time, so we are kind of still on the, the learning end of things. Um, so definitely we'll be looking forward to it next Mania we go to. We're still up in the air on Philadelphia, or uh, not Philadelphia, New York. Um, so yeah, guys, without any more waste of time here, it's a decent stack. I also busted a blaster of... Uh, Optic, the new basketball off camera, while I was talking to my dad when I got home this morning. Um, nothing good. I mean, a couple rookie cards that I like, but nothing numbered, no autographs. Um, but yeah, this first one here is a Malik Monk. Uh, it is a Rookie Kings insert. So that'll go in the Monk collection. And then I did pull a purple Malik Monk. Again, these aren't numbered, but uh, it's a nice looking card with the Hornets teal there. So those are two nice ones. And then the CUMC, I picked up this Tory Hunter Jr. Bowman Chrome Mini. Uh, I think I'm going to have him sign it. I think that'll be cool. Um, he comes to uh, West Michigan, the Whitecaps, uh, in, in June, I think. I don't know. I'll have to look at the schedule. Um, but I'm no, being a Notre Dame alum, I can't wait to meet him. Um, hopefully he's still there. And then I have this Kevin Maiton mini. Uh, Goodwin. And then this next one is a Maiton Green. Lady Luck, numbered 5 of 25. And then I got a couple blues. Um, these aren't numbered. You have to combine base in order to get these. You got LeBron. And another LeBron. And then two more blues. I got Maiton. I was hoping he would have been on the same team that Torrey Hunter Jr. is on, but unfortunately not. Um, and then Maiton Blue. There's a horizontal and a vertical parallel. That's why I did both. And then moving on to hockey. Um, I got this Anders Bjork. Bruins, I know. Gross. But played for Notre Dame. So that's why I picked it up. And then sticking with the Notre Dame theme here. But he is also a Red Wing. And I actually met him last season when he came up with the Wings for a bit. Uh, he's pretty good in the minors, but uh, really hasn't gotten his chance in the NHL yet. Hope he does. He's a great player. Robbie Russo. And then sticking with the, the Red Wings theme here, I got this Tyler Bertuzzi, Young Gun. And then a Opeachy Platinum. Marquee rookie of Anthony Mantha. Nice shine to it. 
And then this one was one you had to be redeemed. Is is an ice blue tracks. You can see the tracks in there, the or the teal blue, not numbered, but very cool card. And then back to Maiton here, dual relic out of Goodwin. It's a nice one. He is the prospect that the Braves had to forfeit in their uh, little scandal that they went through. He signed with the Angels, and that's why I was hoping he'd be with Torrey Hunter Jr. Um, I picked up this autograph. Cheap autograph, but, I mean, if he makes it, he makes it. So that'll be one to probably hold on to. And then... I, on EPAC, I, I ripped a box of uh, Goodwin Champs, and I hit the World War II. Uh, I can't remember what, what relic it was, but I, I didn't want it. Wouldn't fit anywhere in my collection. Um, not that these do, but I'll probably move them, because they, they all do well. I have four cards, all of the same girl. She's an Olympic gold medalist. She's been on the news quite a bit lately, um, fighting for women's rights. Um, so I figured I'd pick all these up. And they're actually, a, these two relics are actually cool pieces of the leotard. There's Allie Raisman. So there's that one, not numbered. This is a black and white version, I think. I'm not too familiar with Goodwin, but I was going for Simmons to be honest. <laughs> Didn't get any, but the World War II was sweet, and, you know, these sell well, so can't complain. Got a goodie. Again, see the shine in the leotard relic. Not numbered. Then I got her base autograph. She signed it really thick, but it still looks good. Not numbered. And then her Goody autograph, which I do like better, signed thin. More legible, I think. Um, so yeah. And then my final card, I did pull on EPAC and I submitted it through COMC for grading services. Um, he played at Boston University and then was drafted by the Bruins. It is Charlie McAvoy. Hopefully I said that right. I'm not big into hockey this year. Um, but it 9-5'd, and it got three nine fives and a 10. You can see that there. Uh, so yeah, it has his Young Gun Canvas. So that is really cool. Hopefully uh, he does well. It's a nice looking card. I'm glad I decided to get it graded. There's the subs again. The surface was the only one to get a 10. And it's weird. All the canvases seem to get a 10 surface. I mean, if you protect them right. Back in 1516, when I got big into hockey, um, went after Larkin, obviously being a Red Wings fan, uh, I noticed a lot of his canvas, young guns, graded well. And I still haven't graded mine or picked up a graded version, but when I pulled this McAvoy on on uh, EPAC, I thought, why not? So, yeah, guys, that's my mail day. My uh, little small recap of that optic blaster my dad got me. Um, like I said, not too sure when the next video will be. I want to hang up a couple of things from Mania. Um... And then I want to do a room tour, room tour pretty soon because uh, Matt Lorenzo and Alex Lorenzo had asked about it because they want to see a few things. Um, so hopefully I can get to that here pretty soon. Um, but yeah, guys, that's it for now. Had a blast at Mania. Um, it's great meeting you guys. And until next time, I'm out. See ya.